Okay, so let's talk about the Praxis Math Exam, Test Code 5165. This is the exam that you have to pass in order to uh, teach high school level mathematics. It is a very challenging exam. Now, because you're watching this video, I assume you are preparing to take this exam, and that is fantastic as we definitely need as many great math teachers as possible. But uh, what I have for you here is a practice problem that you should be able to answer actually quite easily if you are fully prepared for this particular uh, practice exam. And here is the problem. So we have a circle and we have some chords in that circle. And what we're looking for here is angle one. All right, so if you can figure this out, we're going to put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course we'll walk through the solution step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I myself um, am a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching for decades, and I actually have taken this praxis, uh, praxis uh, exam and passed. And it is a challenging exam. Now, I have a degree in mathematics and a master's degree, and I can tell you right now, if you have, uh, haven't uh, studied and really kind of refreshed your math skills and you go into this exam, you know, without, you know, again, doing a lot of uh, preparation, you have a good chance of not passing. So it is very smart that you are watching this video and you're preparing for this exam. Now, you could definitely pass it, but it, again, it requires a lot of uh, study. Now, um, along the way, you know, as being a math teacher, I've actually constructed a lot of uh, courses to include many test prep courses, and I actually have a great, very comprehensive Praxis Math uh, Test Code 5165 test prep course. I'm going to leave a link to that course in the description of this video, but uh, it will cover a tremendous amount of the material that you will face on this uh, Praxis exam. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this uh, problem right now. Now, uh, most of you out there are probably saying, yes, this is not that difficult, but I forgot the formula, okay? Now, when it comes to geometry, uh, problems, and circles, there is a lot of different formulas. And again, uh, you're going to have to review all these uh, formulas. So this problem is not that hard, but of course, you have to remember the correct formula. So let's go ahead and talk about that right now. But before I show you the formula, let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is angle one is equal to 60 degrees. All right, now if you got this right, that is great, but uh, in no means is this kind of um, an indication that you are fully prepared. There is going to be a lot of advanced math on this particular praxis, praxis exam, but uh, that is still very good that you remembered how to do this simple uh, problem. So let's, gonna, let's go ahead and get into this right now. So we have a circle and we have some arcs here. So uh, one of the arcs is this right here, XZ, right? That's arcs, uh, arc XZ, and that's 40 degrees. The other arc here is YW, and that's 80 degrees. So we have these two chords right here. We're looking for angle one. So we need to remember this formula right here. And that formula is the following. So the measure of this interior um, angle uh, formed by these two chords right here is equal to one half the sum of the arcs formed by these chords. Okay, so uh, not too difficult in here. Basically, all we need to do is simply take this and add it to this and then take one half of that and we'll get the answer to this. Now, angle one happens to be the same as this angle because these are both vertical angles. Okay, so that is the formula that you need to use. I'm pretty sure most of you out there watching this, um, you know, find this pretty easy because if you are taking this particular praxis exam, Let's just think about the courses you're going to be teaching. You're certainly, uh, you know, possibly could be assigned to teach uh, uh, Algebra 1, you know, uh, pre-algebra or some basic algebra, certainly uh, geometry or honors geometry, Algebra 2, and certainly maybe pre-calculus or calculus or statistics or whatever the, uh, you know, the high school that you might be going into offers. So these, you know, courses have a lot of information in it. And what we're talking about here is a you know, pretty typical basic geometry knowledge. All right, so let's go and finish this problem up. Again, we have the right formula. All we need to do is simply add up these two arcs right here, 40 and 80, and find one half of that, and we'll get this angle right there. All right, so pretty straightforward stuff. So 40, plus, uh, 40 degrees plus 80 degrees, of course, 120 degrees. One half of that is 60 degrees, so angle one 
is equal to 60 degrees. Okay, so again, on this uh, particular praxis exam, you're going to have to, uh, you know, know all this stuff, algebra, geometry, algebra 2, uh, pre-calculus, and even some uh, calculus and some t uh, statistics as well, okay? I can tell you right now from personal experience, uh, if you haven't taken this exam, do not underestimate it, okay? Study as much as possible, and uh, don't be like, well, you know what, I have a degree in math or a math education degree. Even if, uh, you know, you just graduated, you know, you still need to go back and do review because, you know, the chances are you haven't been doing geometry or, you know, algebra two level math. You know, you probably been doing some calculus and whatnot. Even if you, um, you know, do or have been doing a lot of calculus lately, that's great. But if you don't go back and review all this uh, algebra, pre-calculus, trigonometry stuff, it's not going to be fresh in your mind when you go in and take this exam. Okay, but uh, my math course, my math, my test prep course for this particular exam will really help you out. It's super comprehensive. So again, make sure to check that out. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description of uh, in the description of this video. But uh, I definitely want to wish you all the best in your teaching career. We definitely, matter of fact, desperately need great math teachers. So for you to even be, uh, you know, considering or wanting to pass this exam tells me a lot about yourself. So I definitely wish you all the best. And with that being said, thank you for your time and have a great day.